Um, my name is Sherry Brandon. I'm heading up uh, transaction banking at Tieto. And Tieto is actually the largest um, IT provider in the Nordics. We pri pr provide IT solutions to many industries. And uh, basically it is end-to-end -end life cycle solutions. So for example, uh, for banking, I'm responsible for the banking unit, transaction banking unit, and we provide IT services to banks from beginning to the end. The trends haven't changed over the last year, I must be honest. Um, obviously, PSD2 has been there last year. Instant payments has been there last year as well. Um, blockchain technology is now coming up more and more, obviously, because um, it's now you know, a proven technology. And um, one of the things I find very interesting is the predictive analysis, uh, analytics behind payments and the possibilities that are there. You will see that coming more over the coming years. So PSD2 instant payments are there, they will not disappear. Blockchain and predictive analysis for the next coming years. bank needs to get the basics right honestly um, they still struggle with a lot of legacy systems so first get the, the get the basics right and then be ready to become a digitalized bank as simple as that you need to change business model and become a digitalized bank there are a few things there I think banks need to use the current regulation that is there don't be afraid of regulation um, for example with the instant payments one um, it is there to stay it offers banks great opportunities to change their business model in going into the discussion with their corporates on the risk elements of instant payments the instant payment regulation is changing the risk element and talk to your corporates about new models around that. So that's one. Secondly, I think with PSD2, where you know banks have been afraid a little bit of opening up because that's the element of PSD2. They need to open up to third party providers. But look at it the other way around. What opportunities does that bring banks? Banks can turn this around and actually tap into other banks, right? And become an aggregator on behalf of their own clients. So that is the opportunities that are clearly there. Banks need to, need to explore that and discuss that with their clients. Tieto has a few solutions there, obviously. Um, first of all, uh, we have our uh, Tieto payment solution, which um, has the, the very new instant payments module. Now, this instant payment module brings direct compliance to banks, so we can help them there. Um, and then, obviously, looking at um, our virtual account management solution, which is changing the whole marketplace in terms of cash management and liquidity management. Definitely bring new business models to the bank. Unique in this sense is that our instant payments module, it's a module that can be added to the current payments platform. You do not need to change the full platform. You can have it as a module and you can have it as a phased migration onto your current programs. So it's very easy to implement and to take into your current programs. The, the reasons for, for um, banks and corporates to look into these solutions are very simple, cost savings. Cost savings, um, and I need to explain a little bit more about our virtual account management offering. Um, in that sense, it, it simply does what it says. Virtual accounts management replaces a physical account with a virtual account. Hence, for a cash management solutions, corporates do not have to open multiple accounts which they are used to in a current cash management solutions but simply open a virtual account and do payments on behalf of their subsidiaries or receive um, um, uh, receivables on behalf of their subsidiaries so it makes life much easier and saves enormous in cost Uh, first of all, banks should look at, a, at it as, as a modeler approach, okay? Um, it means um, not having to replace the full payments platform at once, okay? Then, secondly, it should be phased, right? Step by step, 
taking it um, you know um, throughout some migration and finally I think they should look at a provider who can deliver on that promise so um, work with somebody who can migrate you from a full-scale platform either through a modular based approach or a phased approach to migrate all your clients onto the new payment platform Cheto is absolutely within an audit, the biggest IT um, um, provider. We have all the banks in our books, but don't underestimate us. We are already there globally. We work with many major global cash management banks, or we have not been very vocal about that. So uh, we will change that. We will be more vocal about who Cheto is and where we can service our clients. Um, and we will grow globally by adding more sales staff and also adding more delivery staff to our current base.